Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your Windows 7 operating system to Windows 10 for free. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by clicking the uh, subscribe button below. Now the first thing we need to do is make sure that Windows is activated. So if you open up uh, Windows Explorer, and if you click on My Computer, if you right click and go Properties, and if you scroll down, you can see here it says Windows is activated. So before you try this, this guide, before you try to upgrade to Windows 10, make sure you've backed up all of your data. Uh, the upgrade is not going to do a format of your C drive, but it's, it's always best to back up your data. So if the worst does happen, you, you have got it. So as we can see here, we've got um, a document on my desktop and we've got two applications here we've got Adobe Reader and Chrome so once we've upgraded to Windows 10 hopefully these applications will still be there and work as they have done there um, okay so first thing we need to do is if we go to this link as you can see it's on the official Microsoft website this is a genuine way of updating your system it's not going to download any pirated um, hacked version of Windows or serial keys. So once the file is downloaded, if you just left click on it, uh, if you get prompted here, press yes. Okay, first screen, click on accept. It's just quickly scanned our machine and it can see that it meets the requirements, so we can continue. Okay, it's just downloading Windows 10. Um, I believe it's going to download about two and a half gigs worth of files. So depending on uh, the speed of your internet, it might take a long time or it might not. But I'm going to pause the video while it's downloading. Okay, it's downloaded the Windows 10 install files. Uh, so as you can see here now, it's installing the Windows 10. Uh, so that I would expect that to take about 15, 20 minutes. The install is now finished and it needs to reboot your machine. So if you just click on restart now or if you're not at your machine in 30 minutes it will restart automatically. So just click on restart now. When your machine is rebooted it's then going to go to this, um, this part where it's going to continue the install. Uh, this part I believe will take about 20 minutes to complete. Right, the install's finished, so now we get asked a few questions. So here, if you just click next, uh, you can go through these and set them as you want. I'm just going to leave them as default and click on accept. Uh, same for this screen, so I'm just going to click next. Okay, we're now at the Windows 10 sign-on screen, so if you just press any button, it will take you to the logon here. We can see here that it's copied across all the user accounts that I had before. So I'm going to sign in with the admin accounts. Okay, we've got the Windows 10 desktop here. We can see that the Adobe Acrobat Reader application is there. Just opened it up, it looks good. Uh, the same with Google Chrome. And this is the document I had, it's copied it across, which is good. And the last thing I want to show you is we need to make sure that Windows 10 is activated. So if we right click on this PC, go to properties, and we can see there it's activated. So we've successfully upgraded to Windows 10. So as you can see, the process is very simple to upgrade. Um, if you do try this, let me know how you get on by posting a comment below. I'll be very interested to hear what you have to say. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.